हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई नो पर्सनल लोन इज नॉट अ न्यू टर्म टू यू बट स्टिल आई पिक्ड अप दिस टॉपिक आर यू अवेलिंग अ पर्सनल लोन वाई इट इज सो बिकॉज आई हैव सीन पीपल एट लार्ज अवेलिंग पर्सनल लोन अंडर डिफरेंट फिनेंशियल सर्कमस्टांसिस बट लेटर दे फील दैट द पर्सनल लोन हैज पिंच टेम अ लॉट वॉट आर द रीजन्स फॉर द सेम वेदर द पर्सनल लोन इज गुड और नॉट and what are the precautions or what are the important points which you as a borrower should consider while you are taking a personal loan and not only this we have to also understand what are the income tax implications of a personal loan so through this video i am trying to put up answer to all these questions for the benefit of all so the first point precautions while availing a personal loan to a chartered accountant like me if you will ask that mr bhatia i am availing a personal loan for the following purpose my first suggestion to you would be sir why don't you avoid availing a personal loan now naturally a finance company or a bank would say what are you doing mr bhatia you are spoiling our business see what prompts me from preventing you in form of preventing you from availing a personal loan that certain features which you all understand that personal loan has high interest rate and these high interest rate are going to the extent of 24% to 36% a year so a very very costly loan and one of the reason for the same is that it is an unsecured loan as a borrower we must understand when we are borrowing a secured loan our rate of interest would be low and when we are borrowing an unsecured loan the rate of interest would be high because the risk is higher to the lender so to compensate that risk what the borrower does that he charges or it charges higher interest from you so that is a feature which basically should prevent you from obtaining a personal loan but somebody may say mr bhati i don't have a real estate property to mortgage at all then then i can say yes sir you may think about this particular loan also lesser thing a very important feature of the personal loan is usually it is given for a lesser period say 24 month 36 month 48 month or i have seen generally it can be for a maximum period of 16 so what happens as compared to a 20 year loan wherein your emi would be low for the same amount of loan in a personal loan since the tenure is shorter so your emi would be higher that means when you are availing a personal loan since it is coming up with a shorter term your emi would be higher and if the emi would be higher then it can affect your repayment capacity in addition to it the personal loan come with high initial processing fees also usually these fees related things may be ranging from 0.5% 1% 2% even i am seeing that in certain cases these are the fees which are being charged by the bankers or by the nbfcs so the processing fees mind you my dear friend it adds up to your overall cost of availing the loan so higher processing fees should also be a factor which should dishearten you generally from availing a personal loan high default possibility as i said lesser tenure high interest rate that would mean that maximum of the recovery is being ensured the maximum of the profitability being ensured from the borrower by the lender through these kind of loan so when your emi is higher and you have an imbalance because of various reasons say it could have been a covid impact which has happened to people at large sometime in the case of businessmen i have seen personal loan may be a regular feature so sometime there your business is here and there and you are more prone to the default possibility which affects your civil score high prepayment charges even it is noted in various cases when you avail personal loan the banks might have not provided financial institution might have not provided clarity on the prepayment charge but later when you made the payment you said that okay i took a personal loan of rupees 2 lakh 1 lakh i have already paid 1 lakh i want to pay lump sum the institution may be saying no we wish to charge you 2% 3% 4% prepayment charges these are some factors i am not saying that these factors are completely wrong these factors are prevailing and the reasons for the same is that the personal loan is an unsecured loan so the banks and the financial institution may have logic for the same 
But through this video, I wanted to put up because I am also inclined to provide the knowledge in the field of investor awareness or I may say I am also liable to promote the education in the field of finance. So I just suggest that why not these factors should be considered before availing a personal loan and if you are still agreeing to that okay, I am still under pressure, uh, my needs are too high, then and then only you should think about a personal loan. Now another interesting question relating to a personal loan is whether interest paid on personal loan is allowable in computing total income. My prima facie answer to this question would be no. The reason is that personal loan by name is having a content personal that it is personal to you and income tax does not allow you to claim a credit that is the deduction of the interest paid on a personal loan. But this answer would not work in certain cases. That is, I am now reversing my answer and saying yes sir, in certain cases the personal loan related interest can also be claimed while computing the taxable income of an SSE subject to certain conditions if it is used for business purpose. Say a businessman has availed a personal loan which he has put in into his current account and then used it for the purpose of furtherance, enhancement in the business activity. Yes, why not? He can claim such interest in his business income computation. Home construction. Usually for house construction, you should avail 99.9% .9 a home loan only. But say for example, your property is not regularized yet and banks are not there or NBFC is not there to provide you a home loan. Then what will you do? And actually, you may avail a personal loan. In that case, whatever interest you are paying on a personal loan, if you can establish that I use this personal loan for home construction, in my opinion, it can be claimed in house property related computation. But this kind of opinion which I am sharing here may be challenged by some uh, other experts. But this is my opinion that if you are able to establish that yes, I use personal loan for home construction. Say for example, you are paid to a contractor, you are paid to the builder. Why can't you claim that interest? Real estate purchase. Sometimes what happens, you are buying a piece of land and for buying that piece of land, you have taken a personal loan. You should avoid it. But still you did that. Then whatever was the period of holding for that property, whenever you sold it and in the meanwhile period, you paid the interest on that particular uh, personal loan which you have availed for buying a real estate. In my opinion, that interest can also be claimed in computing the final capital gain arising on sale of such real estate. So these are few views which I have put up before you that okay, when you are paying the interest on the personal loan, my prima facie view is that yes, you can't claim that interest. But if you can prove your genuineness pertaining to this personal loan being attached to business, being attached to home construction, being attached to any real estate kind of plot of land, then why not? The interest can also be claimed on a personal loan in income tax deductions, in income tax computations. Finally, friends, I must repeat that I am the person who will discriminate, who will say, please don't avail a personal loan to the extent possible. If you are really into too much of problem and then still ensure that to the capacity, to the uh, level, you can get a personal loan reduced to the extent possible. Say you can avail a personal loan of 5 lakh, that is your eligibility. I, I will say try and reduce your requirement to 3 lakh only. So that the personal loan does not spoil your civil. So that the personal loan does not spoil your normal financial activities. Because the recovery procedures of the personal loan are also too harsh. So through this video, I try to put up my views on the personal loan that yes, you should be cautious while availing a personal loan. I hope you will get benefited. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best. Jai.